right, man, here we have it, man. Um, this, for me, is the tie of the round. I believe that this is going to be the most exciting two legs in all of the whole um, of the Champions League um, last 16 matches. And um, as we look at it right now, you know, um, it's tough. This really is 50-50 because, again, I'm not sure whether Harry Kane will be fit for this game in the first leg, but he'll definitely be fit for the second leg. But he may be able to make it for, for, the, for the first leg. But as we've seen, Dortmund are a fantastic team. For me, I believe Dortmund played the best football that I've seen right now in the world. As in, no team plays, plays football in a, a more exciting way than, than Dortmund do. So, amazing what the job that Lucien Favre is doing with his Dortmund side. But they are weak men, men, mentally. And, and I, I, okay, weak mentally may be a bit harsh, but what they did against Hoffenheim to concede three gives me pause for thought. Because that is really fully 100% unacceptable for any football team to concede three in that short space of time, especially if you're top of the Bundesliga. So um, that is very suspect. Tottenham, depleted, players missing. Levy doesn't want to give your boy Pochettino one cobble to spend on a player. But the mental strength of this team, the resilience of this team is something that has just completely out um, it has astounded me. Something completely and totally outstanding. How, despite all of the, the depletions, the injuries, the cutbacks, and so forth, they don't have a stadium, they still manage to grind out flipping victories and grind out wins. So, if it's a case of who wins the mental strength battle, Tottenham win it all day long. They win it all day long. So, coming into this first leg now, um, looking at Tottenham specifically, Tottenham will know that um, have to be very, be very wary of the team that they're facing. Wembley is a big pitch, nice and wide, um, is, plays really well into teams that, that want the counter. I think for Tottenham, this is where they're being the more experienced team, the stronger team, the much more physical team, and the better tactical team. This is where it was really going to pretty much play in, that, that they're really going to have to really show that superiority over Dortmund. So they're going to protect the ball really, really well, make sure that they don't lose the ball in key areas. Def especially defensively, they cannot lose the ball in any defensive areas, and they've just got to be very smart in um, um, when they don't have the ball, reading the, the game, because you're playing a side that moves the ball very quickly, has very skillful players, and these guys really want to attack. But Dortmund, as we saw in, in the game against Hoffenheim, they, they have this philosophy. They are very attacking. They play a very high line. They push a lot, a lot of men forward, and they will give you space. This plays right into the hands of Hung Ming Son, Asia's greatest ever, ever player. So for Tottenham, and especially for Ericsson, all they need to do is play the right ball. Play the right ball against what is still a pretty young defense. Son is in, lights out. Son is in, lights out. So I think this, if Pochettino gets the tactics and the balance right, I think Tottenham can withstand the threat of Dortmund and can really expose their highland and expose their def the defenders by smart play good economic play and really managing the, the game in the right space so i just think for, for tottenham they have the players to really be able to because this won't it won't be easy because remember this is easier said, said than done it's one thing saying okay this is the tactic you should have to actually execute it that's a whole different ball of um peanuts and and wax so um where dortmund are concerned i think for dortmund um they can get goals in this game. And I do feel that they can't betray what their philosophy is about. But I'm not asking you to do betray your philosophy. I'm just asking you to be a bit more responsible. Because if, because Tottenham are a lot better than a lot of sides that Dortmund face in the Bundesliga. Tottenham, this, this is a very, very good side. Very, very well coached. So defensively, Dortmund have to be a lot more smarter. A lot more better you know people like akanji hakimi and, and and so forth you've got to be much more better and i think this is perhaps a game in which pishek and um, schmelzer will be needed because those are the older experienced heads who will be able to use the experience to know okay this is when we go the high line watch this man reading the game and so forth because it's going to be very important that dortmund don't go one two down very early because if they, they, they do it's going to be very hard for them to get back in the game without considering even much even more, more goals um 
hopefully Ruiz can make it. Because Ruiz is very important for this team. He's very crucial for this team. He's that dude. He's that guy. He's the guy. Ruiz is that flipping guy. Um, Sancho. Sancho. One of the most exciting young players in the world. Um, and I've just thought for Sancho, coming back to England, he will definitely be much more buoyed by that fact, coming back to, to, to home soil. So for Sancho, I'm just looking for Sancho just to really enjoy himself. And I think for Lucien Favre, he just say, say to Sancho, man, this is a game in which you can really, really express yourself. I want you to express yourself. I want you to really go in at this team and put them on that serious on the pressure. So I think for Dortmund, they should keep trying to find Sancho. And I think for Sancho, the key thing is don't receive the ball with your back to goal. Receive it facing the goal and try and get your guys in isolated positions. Try and get your guys in a one-on-one -on -one situation and keep trying to beat them again and again and again. And I think that should be the mandate for him. For Sancho, keep running at guys. Keep, keep trying, trying to beat guys. Move right, move left. But just be have confidence in your ability to try and open these guys up by yourself individually, you know. Um, so obviously, if Ruiz isn't fit, you've got to go with Al Alcatel. He's, he's, he's got to start and he's got to be the, be the main striker. So, uh, but obviously, if Ruiz is fit, I would still say Alcatel, but I would, I would get if you want to play Ruiz as a, as a striker, maybe um, try and get the midfield a lot more heavier and put more bodies in the, in the midfield area. But um, look, no, 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 no. I mean, let's, I mean, to, just to be real, let me just, you know, to take it, step back from the whole tactical thing. I'm really looking forward to, to this game because I just, like, when this draw was made, I was like, this, this, this is beautiful. This is, this is beautiful. These are two really good teams who do like to attack, like to really space their guys out, always looking for, for goals. And it's great. And I saw a chat. I think Tottenham might be fifth or sixth of teams who scored the most goals in Europe, which is amazing, you know, which is flip flipping amazing. Like the amount of goals that they've scored without bringing in any new players, it's it's a flipping amazing thing. So, um, I think because what I've always said to guys is that you know I I get Harry Kane. Harry Kane is one of the best strikers out there. You know, he scores the goals, boom, boom, boom. Also. Another key guy, again, I'm not sure whether he'll be fit or not. Sissoko is going to be huge. Like, the midfield of Tottenham is going to be very important because I think if the Tottenham midfield controls the, the game, that is where they take Dortmund out of the game. Because I think if that midfield does not do the work and Dortmund are able to really roam free, very freely through the midfield and get the ball to the attacking players in space, that is where I think Tottenham are going to suffer and, and, and have a lot of issues. But Hume Son, man, um, he, he, he's that dude. Humison is that dude because I think the amount of times this guy has scored and he's carrying, dude is almost carrying this team in Kane's, um, with, with, without Kane, Kane, Kane being there. So in Kane's absence, homeboy is literally carrying this team on his back and on his shoulder and really pushing them through. And I do feel that Humison can even um, raise his stock as a player on the world stage if he can again lead Tottenham to a sizable victory in this game. Because I think Tottenham can, can get goals at Dortmund's crib um, because of how they, they play. But it's a very tough stadium to go to. It's a very tough stadium to, to, to go to. But then again, Tottenham will say to themselves that if Hoffenheim can get three Gs and if we win this game, which we should, and we, we go there and Dortmund are very attacking... Well, there's no reason for us not to, to take advantage of how they're attacking that they, they'll have to be in that second leg. So I just think that for Tottenham, I mean, if they lose this, it'll be very difficult for, for, for them to now go to Dortmund Stadium and actually attack from the opening whistle. So they, they, need, a, they need a victory. Um, what kind of victory can they get is going to be very difficult because it just depends on how much damage they want to deliver to Dortmund in this game. Because it is because the whole thing this is it's two two legs, it's not a one off game. So it's be very unwise if Portugal says to Tottenham play a higher line, play really high, guys move forward, make midfielders go up in there, get many many bodies into the box, press really high, and just get as many goals as possible. But then if you do that, you're playing against a team that are very quick, very fast, and move and know how to move the ball very very sharp. You know, so <laughs> Portugal doesn't want it's a situation where we've considered like one two. Away goes. That that's very 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 bad. So he has to be he has to manage the, the game very well, and the team has to manage the game very well. But with regards to 
Dortmund. Um, again, they know how strong they are at home. But that Hoffenheim game will give a little bit of pause in the back of the heads to say, you know what, yes, we know that it's a fortress and we can be amazing there. But we know that if we're not really re responsible, we can be taken up. With regards to the first leg here, Dortmund's approach, I mean, I think Dortmund have to, they've got to just go out and play and just see what happens. You know, I think for, because again, Tottenham are, are an attacking team, but this isn't like a Barcelona or a PSG or a Man City where this is just like really top tier players. I do think for Dortmund, they have to just be wary of their de defense and the positioning of the defense and the reading of the game. But I just think for Dortmund, it's like, look, man, it's a big pitch. It's a wide pitch. There's, a, there's, there's lots of, of, of space here. They have to go for it. Go for it and just go with the mindset of let's just try and see how many goals we can score and keep hitting them. They hit us, we hit them back. So I think all out warfare, wild, wild west, boom, let me the best man win. Because again, if, if that happens, that will be great entertainment for me as the viewing public, as a football fan. So, um, score, hmm, Tottenham at home. Three two. Three two. Three two to Tottenham. Do I see Dortmund getting two away goals? <laughs> three two to Tottenham. Yeah, I think Dortmund might probably get two away goals, probably. But I, I, I think Tottenham are gonna get I think I think I think Dortmund will play with a lot of space. I think Tottenham will just keep hitting them, hitting them, hitting them, hitting them, and maybe get even like a set piece there as well. But yeah, I say Tottenham three, Dortmund two, whatever the case, man, I just think this is an amazing game. And I cannot wait to watch this flipping game. Please stay true, stay black. Thanks for watching the video. Now think about becoming a football hot patron by pledging an amount each month and then gain access to exclusive content only on the Football Hot Patron page. Peace. Head over to the official sites at halfoffootballhot.com or just click over here.